Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fish in the West. I'm your host, John B. And it is the day before, and I'm about to go on the ice with Dan and Rob. Um, just getting the car all loaded up. Got the shanty in there. Got the tent. Just recently purchased a uh, Clan Bigfoot 2000s. They're smaller size, uh, but it fits about five people. We can fit about four holes in it. And it's a nice little tent. I just wanted something a little bit more substantial because we usually do go out in large groups whenever we ice fish. So I got the Clam Nano, which is a two-person fold-over shanty, and then I've also got the uh, Bigfoot. Along with that, I've got my hand auger. Probably won't be using it tomorrow since Rob's coming out. He's got the Strike Master. He's got that Honda. Got the heater, and all I need to do is get all the rigs uh, for my pike and largemouth setups all ready to go, and I'll be set. So uh, it's winter up here in Illinois, and we'll catch you guys out on the ice. episode of Fish Midwest out here on our favorite ice fishing lake with CJ, Dan, and Rob. First fish today got a nice walleye right here, man. This is a decent one for the lake that we're fishing today. First walleye I've ever caught out of here. Caught that on a big shiner, medium sized shiner actually. And uh, we're out here fishing for bass, pike, and now apparently walleye, but that's a nice little fish. Um, uh, I'd say she's about 24 and a half inches, something like that, 24 inches. Nice eye, first fish of the day, and we'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned. Good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got there? Bike. There's nice. Go. Nothing ginormous, but it's a bike. That one came off a roach. Just grab onto the gills, CJ. Got the, caught him on the tip of it. Yeah. And yeah. You're right there. There you go. Quick release. <laughs> Quick release. You guys, welcome back. Switch lakes to our crappie and bass lake and just stuck my first crappie of the day. Rob just left and he had a few little guys on and this is decent. It's no huge. Fish probably about 12. Nice black crappie though. Look at this, I'm gonna hold this up. Just like a palm, palm view of them so you can get a better look at them. But look at that fish, man. That's, that's just a beautiful little crappie right there. He's in Northland Tackle 27 inch rods with tungsten jigs, and, uh, and that's kind of what the deal is today. So uh, get back again so we get some more. Seems like we've gotten onto the bite, so stay tuned. More crappie and bass action to come. I got 30 holes drilled out here. We finally found the fish in about five to six feet of water, which is a lot shallower than I thought they'd be. Considering about two or two and a half weeks ago, they were in 10 to 11 feet of water, bass included. Um, what we're doing is using light action rods, using tungsten jigs, and uh, light line with two or three uh, uh, spikes tipped with that jig. And we're switching off between spikes and uh, plastics. And they seem to both be producing seemingly well, but uh, I've just been switching with spikes right now, fishing with spikes right now, just to see if I get some gills, as well as crappie and largemouth. But both are hitting it, which is really nice. And this technique I'm doing right now is I'm just jigging lightly, and every now and then I'll pop it up and kind of try to get that fish to react to that that sudden movement. And it seems to have worked. It worked with the crappie, worked with the bass, and I just got hit here earlier. So um, hopefully we can get on some more fish, and uh, stay tuned. Just got right. there. You want our first bass here today? So good. Yep. Nice oh, large. Pound and a half. Nice fish. Did you get that on? Uh, the tungsten jigs with the wax works. Nice fish. Awesome. 
you guys. We're in that day on that bass and that crappie. Today has been slow. It's been slow pretty much all all throughout this uh, this month. December has just never really been a huge, hugely uh, productive year, productive month for me when it comes to ice fishing. So, you know, it's it's fun to get out. It's fun to catch some fish. But, you know, it's just really frustrating when you can't find them and you've got electronics and you've got these gadgets and stuff like that you just can't seem to find them but uh we did get on a few fish it was cool that we caught that walleye and uh it was cool that we got that pike on tape as well but um you know hopefully it picks up here in a couple of weeks because fishing has been way too slow for all the effort i think so total today we probably got at most maybe 10 fish between all all four of us so um thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time on fishing midwest